Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Wuzzy. My name is Vadik Kuumba. I am the theater coordinator, performing arts coordinator at AS220 Youth. Was he? Was he? Was he? Was he? Was he? Was he? My name is Cleo Sincere. I'm 16 years old, and I'm a performing arts youth apprentice at AS220. So my program is performing arts, so we work a lot with poetry and theater, um, and we are one of the groups that spearheads like the Future Worlds uh, program, which is an opportunity for students to like, as I said, like use their art and then create new realities that can fight the issues that are plaguing their communities. We do so many things here at AS220 Youth. Um, we are uh, arts, performing arts and visual arts after school program. And we work uh, most with uh, beyond risk youth. So youth uh, and people, young people who have already been affected by the system, in a group home or foster care, or uh, they've been in contact with the law through like uh, the Rhode Island Training School. Um, and we give them an opportunity to express themselves and the issues in their community using art. I see niggas cleaning up. I see niggas getting fucked up every day. That's what I thought, but at least think. When I'm cooking up instrumentals, that shit feels free. The best part is I get to save all my ancestors who are free. When we're able to offer ch uh, students an opportunity to express themselves um, in, a, in another way, um, it creates a sense of worth or it adds their voice to a conversation where they may have felt like they had no opportunity to speak or that they're voiceless. I'm in the performance art group and I'm a writer. There's like a whole bunch of different teams, performance team, visual art team, um, graphic design, and music, and photography. And we come together and we make art and stuff, trying to spread, all trying to spread the same message, I guess. What I love about ES20 is that you just never feel judged, like the space is just so open and so free to be yourself and free to share your story and know that other people are gonna understand your story. And like going into this space and having these big talks about these massive topics, like usually our topics are centered around racism or like dystopias and utopias and how we wanna like work towards that. Like having these conversations with youth and about in with people that like may not understand it or may understand it and like that have these different perspectives of it. Like I really just enjoy that.